So let's put it all together. I've got a couple of key signatures here. One of them has five sharps and the lower one has six flats. And each of those key signatures has two scales which are native to it. There's a major scale and it's relative minor. So I'm going to find out what those scales are. Let's take our five sharps. So first we're going to set up our story about putting together a CD which will destroy everything and make us extra famous. First we'll fly to Germany, then we'll go to America, then across the border to British Columbia. So my sharps in order are F, C, G, D and A, which means my root note for the major is B, B major. Now I'm going to write out B major on the clock, and it's up to me whether I start with B at the top or start with C at the top. I tend to always do my clocks with a C at the top, so B is the one step anti-clockwise from C. So I'm going to have B and then my next note is sharpened, C, so C sharp. What happens with the D? That's sharpened, D sharp, so I've got two steps there. Uh, I go one step to the E because I go root two, two, one, two steps, so I'll use an F sharp. F sharp, two steps, so I've got a G sharp. Two steps, so I've got an A sharp, and then one step back to the B. Great, so I've got B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B. That's my root note. And now I just need to go either three steps back on the clock or round to note six. And both ways, one, two, three, four, five, six, or three clock steps back, I'm going to get G sharp for my minor. And let's just look at that. Root G sharp, 2 to the A, 1 to the B, 2 to the C sharp, 2 to the D sharp, 1 to the F, 2 to the F sharp, 2 to the G sharp. Great, so that's a legitimate minor scale. So my two scales here are B flat major and G sharp minor. So let's look now at my six flats. Well first I just need to modify this table and if you'll remember all I do to make it uh, work for flats as I move this bottom row along one position. So my G, D, A, E, B, F, and then C goes in my one gap at the other end. So I can now wipe out this middle line here. And I read it in the flats direction, which is that direction. So I've got six flats, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat. Let's have a look, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat. Excellent, that works. Those are my flats. So my major scale is going to be G or G flat depending on the key signature. Ah, G is flattened, so we have a G flat here. So G flat major is the major scale that uses that. Now let's write that up on the clock. Now right on 6 o'clock on our clock is our F sharp, or in this case we're using the note name G flat. So I go 2 to an A flat, 2 to a B flat, 1 to a C, but it's going to have to be flat, isn't it? So G flat, 2 to the A flat, 2 to the B flat, 1 to the C flat. We're going to have 2 to a D flat. Going to have 2 to an E flat. Going to have 2 to an F, and then 1 to a G flat. And if I count up my flats, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And they are B flat, E flat, a flat, D flat, G flat. So everything agrees. I use these flats, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, and the key signature look like this, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, and C flat.
use the C flat as well, didn't I? Okay, so now I can go to note number six. So here's my root note here, and I'll go root note two, three, four, five, six. I get E flat for my relative minor. Or I could go back three clock steps. One, two, three, to get the E flat. So that there is the minor scale that uses six flats. So pretty quickly, using our story about releasing the CD, we can find all our major and minor scales related to both sharp key signatures and flat key signatures.